Hello, I'm Chelsea Fountain and welcome to my interactive lab for week five. So for this experiment, you will need one, um, a half a tablespoon, a half a teaspoon of salt, which I have the salt here. You will need um, a quarter of vinegar or um, one fourth cup of vinegar. And you also need some water. So it, and vinegar, okay. Oh, and a plastic spoon, sorry. So for this experiment, you will end up um, adding the vinegar first. I already have my vinegar here. And then you can add in your salt. That will be the next step. And the next step you wanna do is just stir around your mixture and make sure that everything dissolves, that the salt dissolves within the, within the vinegar. So just this part will probably take you some time, which that's okay. Everything that takes time turns out fine. So we're going to continue to stir and stir and stir and make sure that salt dissolves inside of the inside of our mixture until it becomes nice and clear. So I'll show you it's a little cloudy, but you know, it's nice and you don't really see any salt hanging around at the at the bottom there. Okay. Next, you wanna grab some pennies, preferably some that are really dirty. I have completed this. Um, this, lab, but... this lab before this take. So some of my pennies have already um, cleaned up, but I'll just go ahead and show you they're pretty dirty still. So for this, you wanna just go ahead and drop your pennies inside of the vinegar. And the copper that is, the copper oxide has formed over time with these pennies ever since they hit, you know, the US and was able to be used as money. They became extremely dirty. And so this is a way for us to kind of clean and make those pennies nice and shiny again. So you can keep them in your mixture as long as you like to get to the color that you like. And I'll show you a few that were used during the first time I did them. They were pretty dark and I left them in there and they were able to get cleaned up. So, this is a pretty cool because I have some really nice coins that I had when we first switched over the quarters. So I don't know. This can work with nuts and bolts too to kind of help clean up my money. So in order to stop the reaction, you'll just then take your pennies out and you'll put them into that water that we had set off to the side. And once you set them to the side, you'll kind of see that It'll stop reacting and you'll have your pennies to the way you like them. All right. Thank you so much for this experiment. Happy Super Bowl weekend. Bye-bye.